We've seen a pretty big increase in something called mycoplasma pneumonia, which is an atypical bacterial infection that can cause pneumonia, obviously with the name, but also can cause something called tracheal bronchitis or an upper respiratory tract infection. Infections are usually mild and they can get better on their own, but sometimes they can be more severe and do need antibiotic treatment. We usually treat with something called a macrolide antibiotic, often azithromycin. It's spread through respiratory droplets and it can be one to four weeks from the time that you were exposed until you have symptoms. We see it most commonly between the ages of about five and 17, but anyone can get infected. The most common symptoms are fatigue, fever, cough, headaches, sore throat, in younger kids, we can also see vomiting, diarrhea, wheezing, sneezing, and a lot of nasal congestion. The cough can start off as mild and then kind of slowly worsen over a couple weeks, and so this is one of those things to consider if the kiddo's just not getting better. We started to see the increase in cases in spring of this year. It seemed to have peaked maybe in late August and then started to improve, but we're still seeing quite a few cases. Generally test for it with a nose swab called a respiratory pathogen panel. These can be quite expensive. So generally if kids have only had a couple days of a mild illness, we wouldn't use this test yet, but if the symptoms are lingering, we definitely would consider it. Mycoplasma can have some nasty complications like bad asthma, bad pneumonia, uh, encephalitis or brain swelling, hemolytic anemia where antibodies break open the red blood cells, or bad skin conditions like Steven Johnson's, or mycoplasma induced rash and mucositis. That one's kind of a tongue twister, but it's bad news. If you're concerned, chat with your pediatrician. If they're having difficulty breathing, getting dehydrated, alter mental status, or you are otherwise concerned, head to the ER.